right move for the Cubs to fire Joe Ben? I think the right move for both Joe and the Cubs. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I think that, uh, um, you know, you look at the way last year finished where they just offensively just, just look boring as, as we've talked about before. Uh, and then this year, I, I mean, for the Cardinals to, to come to Wrigley uh, at the end of the year and sweep four one run games. Um, I, I just, as Joe said, I, I, you know, change is good. I guess him and Theo had a good night as they discussed the, the move that they were going to make uh, before the season ended. Uh, I do. I, I think I, I think it's a great move for for both Joe, uh, particularly Joe, because I, I could not be more fond of anyone than I am him. But I, I think it's the right move for the Cubs too. Okay, more likely to be a standalone champion: the '85 Bears or the 2016 Cubs? Oh my goodness! I mean, the Bears dominated from you know start to beginning. Uh, the thing I think about, you know, these Vegas odds we have now and how at one point the Cubs were an 85% chance to win and then they were a 1% one, 1 chance to win and then all of a sudden they came back. Um, you know, the 85 Bears, I, I mean, I, the whole city of Chicago celebrated that, as you know. But are we more likely to get a Bears champion or a Cubs champion? What happens sooner? Oh, wow, man. Um uh, that's a great question. Um, I, I, I guess I would hope for the Bears because they've got the first shot at it. Um, you know, there's, you're going to see a lot of changes uh, before opening day next year, I believe. Uh, obviously, it starts with the manager. But I think you're going to see a lot of personnel changes in the Cubs uh, before 2020 starts, Dano. Did you ask to be considered for the Cubs managerial job? <laughs> You know what? That window for me closed a long time ago. Okay. You know, I, I, I had the opportunity. Dan, I, Dan, I'm a full-time grandpa, man. I got two of the best grandkids on earth, and I'm not going to let anything get in the way of that. Do they know what you did for a living yet? No. And, and, and I'll tell you my favorite story about my six-year-old grandson, Ryder. He was at, at uh, this youth camp that they have, and he wore his Cubs hat. And this older kid that was like nine looked at him. He said, I like the Cubs. Why do you like the Cubs? And my son-in-law was right there. He heard everything. And my grandson looked at him. He said, because my grandpa used to play for the Cubs. And you could kind of see the older kid looking like, yeah, right. Sure, he did whatever. He goes, what's your grandpa's name? And my grandson looked at him, and he said, Gramps. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's, that's what I call him. Yeah. I mean, you can call him yeah. that if you want. And, I mean, they just went their own separate ways. So, yeah, no, he has no idea, and I'd love to keep it that way. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.